Number 55. What phase changes will take place when water is subjected to varying pressure at a constant temperature of 0.005 degrees Celsius, and then we have to do it again at 40 degrees Celsius and at negative 40 degrees Celsius? Okay, so it looks like there's three different questions here. So let's find out what phase changes will occur at the first temperature, 0.0, oh boy, 0.00, oh boy. Okay, that looks good to me. 0.005 degrees Celsius. So I pulled up the appropriate uh, phase diagram here, and we're dealing with water. They did tell us that we're dealing with water. So I pulled up the water phase diagram. Now it may look a little scary, but I promise you it's very easy to understand. First thing is that there's three different uh, phases depending on their colorings. So solid water would be like this dark blue or purple color. This lavenderish color would be liquid water. And then all this brown is the gas phase. Now, first, let's find out where the 0.005 degrees Celsius is. Now, this is a weird uh, temperature to ask for randomly, but if I look at the x-axis, which is the temperature, I notice that I have a 0 degree and a 0 0.01 degree. So what is the middle of 0 and 0 0.01? Yeah, it's this number. 0.005. So basically, let's just see what's going on at this temperature. So maybe I'll just put a line down here and I'll put an arrow and I'll say that this is 0.005. So with my pen, I will draw a straight line in the center between those two. Now I'm just going to correct it because technology, I can. Uh, that looks like in the center. And now let's just see the phase changes. Now keep in mind that we're keeping the temperature constant. So I have to just travel up this road, if you think about it as a road, and see what phases we are at. So as I'm traveling and I'm traveling and I'm traveling, the first phase that I'm in, all you got to do is just look at the colors. I'm in the brown color here, and that is the gas. So at this temperature, the water is going to start as a gas. Then, as I'm starting to travel more upwards, do you see how I'm crossing a line and I'm changing color? That's a phase change. So anytime that you go over one of these black lines of the graph, you're phase changing. And as I cross over, now I'm in the dark blue, right? And that's going to be a solid. So... I can go from a gas to a solid. That's one phase change. I don't even have to go to liquid phase. Now let's just see, is there any other phase changes? Well, if I keep going upward, I can go to a different color, right? I cross over this line, so I can actually phase change twice, depending on what types of pressure I'm at. So I can go from a gas to solid. This would be at low KPA, relatively speaking. The higher kilopascal value for pressure, I can start off as a solid and I can melt. So basically I'm melting. I'm going from a solid to a liquid at the 0 0.005 degrees Celsius. So... That's all the phase changes for 0 0.005 because as we keep going up and up and up, I'm not changing over colors. So that one is done. Okay. Next up is 40 degrees Celsius. So we're going to do basically the same idea here, but we just have to find now 40 degrees Celsius. So let's see. Here's zero and here's 100. I always like to see the middle, the middleman, just to have a generalized idea where 40 is. So probably the middle would be maybe here. That would be 50. So 40 would probably be somewhere here. Okay. Draw the whole line up. 
and see what's going on as we go up that road. So as I'm going up, I'm starting off as a gas. And I'm going up as a gas, I'm going up as a gas, and now I'm crossing the line and I'm entering liquid phase. So I'm going from a gas to a liquid. That's condensation. So that's a phase change. And if I keep going up and up and up, I'm not phase changing anymore. So at 40 degrees Celsius, you're only allowed to go um, from a gas to a liquid. Or if you are, you know, coming down, you know, you can go back from a liquid to a gas. Basically, that's the whole idea here. You can convert from a gas to a solid, back and forth, back and forth. And you can go back and forth between solid to a liquid. Um, and maybe I'll just say, we'll just keep it like this, and we'll just say increasing pressure. That means that we were going up and up and up. Okay. Now the last one, so I check this one out. The last one is negative 40 degrees Celsius. Let's find out where that is. Now here's zero and negative 40 would probably be maybe over here somewhere. Yeah, let's say that. So this would be negative 40. Once again, you don't have to be um, definite. You just have to estimate properly. I'm going to draw that line up, correct it, draw the straight line. Thank goodness for technology. And now we can go up and up and up. So I'm starting off in the brown again. So I'm starting off with my gas. And from there, with increasing pressures, seems like I'm crossing over the line. I'm phase changing to the dark blue or dark purple, whatever you want to call this. And that's the solid. And then if I just keep going up and up and up, just traveling just to see if I cross over any other lines, not on this graph that we see. So I'm just going to um, stop it for here. Just say gas to a solid. And that is all with increasing pressure. So increasing pressure for all three of these, um, you will go from your one phase to another. Okay, that's it, guys. What'd you think? I hope this makes sense. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for viewing the video, and I hope you're having a great day out there. Let's keep studying hard, and good luck on those tests and quizzes. I'll talk to you soon in the next lesson, sometime in the future. And yeah, talk to you then. Bye-bye.